Delaney, check this out. Look at all these toys. Even a snow groomer, a piston bully snow groomer. And a little JCB. Want to play tractors? So we're here at Agritechnica looking for that new drill. We're shopping for a no-till drill and we've got very pleasantly distracted by something that uh, we've just finished, uh, well, kneading in the field. Yeah. Uh, we just finished hauling all our silage uh, wrap bales and Anderson's here, a made in Canada product. And we've, uh, for the first time seeing one in person, we're here in Agritechnica in Germany. And you'll never guess who we've been able to, to meet at the Anderson booth as we were looking at it. But uh, my new friend, Patrice, uh, Good morning, welcome to Germany. Thank you very much, thanks for having us. Thanks for the rundown. Uh, we just got a real quick rundown on this uh, bale mover. Yeah. Uh, this has been on the kind of the dream list. Obviously we're pretty new to the silage bales and hauling and we just finished hauling. We've been hauling with a 53 foot trailer and chasing it around with a telehandler, which worked well. However, there is more time in tying down loads and retrieving bales off the field. Uh, for next year we're going to be doing some double cropping where our our new drill that we're trying to procure here at the yeah. show is going to be hitting the field as soon as we harvest so we need to get the bales off the field faster yeah. than what we've been doing yeah and even if we weren't able to deliver them which this this bale mover we could deliver the bales with this you machine could deliver, yeah. but we can get them off the field. Even if we have to stack them in the corner, we can get the bales off, is my understanding. We can that, get them that's off correct, yeah. as fast yeah. as possible with oh, this yeah. machine, yeah. get them off in the corner of the field and get the drill going. That's correct. So, so bale handling is probably the most time consuming uh, task of the baling process. Uh, not, not a lot of people like to do it. So the RBM Pro, uh, it's a trailer basically that will all uh, wrap bell uh, up the field really quick. So this machine will load up to 20 bell. Loading time for a complete trailer, we're talking about seven minutes. Uh, seven it's about minutes. 20 seconds per bell in average for the loading process. So it's really quick on loading less than a minute. So you can make it really efficient here. Yeah. That's awesome. The stat that just really appealed to me was the new second generation uh, loading arm. Yeah. Can maybe I'll, tell I'll us how fast yeah. we can yeah, do yeah. that. So technically the first generation, we were able to pick up bell on the go without having to stop, uh, but the max speed was three kilometer per hour. Now with the new loading arm generation, you can pick the bell on the go up to six, seven kilometer per hour. So basically you're barely slowing down between the bells. This is why it make it really fast, because by the time you go to the next bell, this is where the arm's gonna drop the bells on the platform and set yes. the arm over the ground. So you're basically optimizing all your time uh, driving around the field. So, oh, that, that part's fantastic. Cause you know, having to slow down and depending on what tractor you're driving, having to clutch and do everything else, uh, running an IVD tractor is nice cause you can just throttle down without having to clutch. Correct. Right. Yeah. Let the arm be in fully autom automated mode. Yeah, it's a fully automatic machine. So basically you click on the start mode and you just drive. You, you have to enjoy it. So as soon as the bell sends the arm, the arm will squeeze it, load it. You barely have nothing to do while loading loading the, the the complete trailer, so it's really efficient and really easy. The learning curve is really quick on that. Yeah. Perfect. So to unload the bales, yeah. let's say if we're just unloading them in the corner of the field, uh, preparing them for trucking, uh, yeah. maybe a longer distance, uh, or delivering them on site, uh, this bale wagon is designed to handle wrap bales. So these rollers are what are going to uh, support the bales and allow them to roll off. So yeah, the without plastic ripping is, the film, yeah, correct. So the plastic film does not get damaged, damaged or yeah, wrecked in that's any correct. way. So uh, pretty cool uh, piece of equipment for our wrap bales. Uh, we're pretty new into the silage game. Yeah. Uh, 2023 was our first year uh, new in silage bales. And we're very impressed with the whole system. It's a different product to sell and to grow and to produce, but yeah. uh, we just need to be able to do some more double cropping and speed is going to be of the essence. So yeah, yeah. Uh, we've purchased a Crone Comprina baler wrapper combination baler. Correct. Um, so hopefully those are dense enough uh, for this. It will be. Okay. No, no, like the Crone is a good product, so you can go wrong with that. Awesome, awesome. Glad to hear that. Yeah. Um, 
because we'll be paying for that new baler. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so this ba this uh, machine's gonna work no problem with our no with our problem, chrome bales. Yeah. Perfect. Canadian engineering to its best, yeah. Oh, right on. Uh, what of all places to run into a Canadian product uh, here at Agrinet Agritechnica in Germany? Yeah. So, uh, thank you for your time. Uh, yeah. We'll show you guys around the machine, but uh, just want to be respectful yeah. of Patrice's time here. Yeah, thanks uh, for popping by. Thanks, I appreciate it. Good yeah. to meet you and yeah. all places to run into. Uh, yeah. We hope to have one of these on the farm. Yeah. We're going to have to figure out how to how to procure one of these. It's hard to come to a trade show. I know we're here to buy a new <laughs> drill, but there's a lot of things to drool on oh, yeah. here. And out of everything at the show, other than the drills that we're shopping for, uh, I think they're a single. This one's uh, catching our eye pretty right. good. So thank you for the time. You're welcome. Really thank you very that. much. So this bailway, we could not help but be intrigued to a pretty high level here on this bail wagon. This bail wagon uh, even has a rear camera. So the rear camera under here not only helps you back up to the stack, so if you are piling these in a stack, uh, you can use the camera to know how far you back up. Uh, there's a couple things on here uh, outside of the camera uh, that uh, are only available on the European models, like these bumpers and some of the locking mechanisms for European transport law. But uh, going back to this camera, the camera, uh, would help us with one of our struggles, uh, and that is when we're going down the road with a wide load or other bail wagon, is you can't see the vehicles coming. So if you're on the highway turning left and you have to stop before you can make your left-hand turn, well, sometimes you may not choose to do that because there's a line of traffic behind you and you may change your route, or you, sometimes you just need to know who's behind you. Um, this camera's live, it has, a, it has a display in the cab on the monitor uh, where we can see what's going on on the highway. So from a safety perspective, super intrigued that this, uh, this bail wagon has a camera. So uh, again, we have air brakes, massive flotation tires. We actually have this same tire on some other implements. We've had, we've run these same tires before on one of our old fertilizer spreaders and uh, super happy with those tires. But uh, to be able to haul this many bales down the road safely uh, and quickly, that'd be pretty appealing. Uh, the Gen, Gen, Gen 2 arm here, being able to pick them at that fast or increased speed, <laughs> again, uh, very appealing to us because using the bale arm or uh, using a telehandler with the bales, it's very slow in comparison uh, because we have to tie down the load. Uh, we have to deal with a, a few other situations in the field, like muddy conditions, icy conditions, like you may have seen in some of our videos, trucks getting stuck. Well, this bail wagon would get us into the field in marginal conditions if we had to. So again, kind of a, kind of a cool thing, let alone the speed and convenience. Um, this would open up a window to maybe retrieve bales if we, we did have an early fall snow, uh, because we do plan on doing silage in late September next year. So uh, that's all pretty cool. The, uh, the new display here uh, would be mounted in the cab. Uh, again, fully kind of autonomous of a connection implement. Uh, there's not much that you really need to do unless there's a problem uh, with a bale tip or something like that. Uh, but you just drive, you just drive, pick up the bale. Uh, once you tell the monitor the size of bale and the side of the bale that it's sitting on, if it's sitting on its round side or if it's sitting on its flat side, the bale arm will retrieve the bale. It'll automatically be at the same and correct height for the size of the bale. So you enter your parameters into the, into the monitor for the size of the bale that you're working on and just drive, the machine does the rest. So uh, our Crone Comprina uh, wrapper combo baler will put the bales, it has the kicker, so it'll put them on their flat side like you guys have seen. So that's actually the ideal way for this bale wagon to pick the bales. So very cool, uh, very cool construction, very, uh, uh, very high level of ingenuity. So again, uh, giving credit where credit's due. Uh, made in Canada product, it's not very often, or for me at least, you come to a place like Germany and then uh, run into a, a Canadian brand. So uh, pretty cool, uh, pretty cool to meet Patrice. Thank you, Patrice, the uh, uh, president of Anderson. Uh, so pretty cool work. You may see one of these on the channel here. Uh, I have to ask Santa if he could put one, uh, put one aside for me because got a dream big, right? Thank you.